Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a game in my Who Are You? And this game is my, well the first time I ever won the Kraken Unleashed medal. Which, well it spoils the ending for you all a bit, but I'm sure you'll still appreciate it. It's a pretty good game. Of late I find that I've been having kind of average games in most of my ships. Except for the Who Are You and the Minikaze, where I just seem to constantly be having awesome games. And this is one of them. It starts off a bit slow, as um, you know, kind of most carrier games I find tend to. I'm sending my fighters forward to scout in the centre. At first they don't really spot much. And of course while this is happening, my bombers are just taking off, and I just leave them circling my ship. It's basically as good a spot as it needs to loiter until I find target to attack. Also there's a cruiser around there somewhere, at least I can see one of its fighter planes. So I send my fighters elsewhere and yes that is it's an Alba. And we've spotted a Congo, it seems to be by itself so that might be a good, oh no there's a cruiser there. So that's not a good first target. There's another battleship, oh there's actually two cruisers besides that Congo, but there's another battleship off down here all by itself. So I send my bombers way off to the edge of the map, where hopefully we'll be able to fly around those two enemy cruisers and attack that lone battleship by itself. And since I've spotted targets, I order my fighters back to defend. Um, basically, I haven't seen the enemy's planes yet, which means they are probably trying to sneak around the edge of the map to attack, probably myself, but possibly the enemy battleships. So I just order them into a central position where my fighters will be able to defend. But I see this enemy bliss feature here and I decide that actually I'll get my fighters to spot it for my team and hopefully put in a bit of extra damage here. But it goes into the smoke, I order my fighters around behind the smoke so we can continue to spot the bliss feature as it comes out the other side. Which is doing pretty well for us now. At the moment my team wouldn't be able to spot that ship at all if it worked for my fighters but we're coming under anti-aircraft fire from a cruiser now, so it's not really worth losing my aircraft over. Even though we did, well, our spotting helped our team probably destroy a quarter of the health of that blister feature. And my bombers are about halfway to where I told them to go. So I actually just ordered Squadron 5 to go to the destination. I ordered the other three squadrons to all just escort Squadron 5. It's just a slightly easier way of, um, well, I find it a slightly easier way of ordering my squadrons around. I could of course just do the drag and select all of them, but I just don't do that for some reason. There's no particular reason why not. I've just ordered my fighters over to those cruisers because we spotted enemy bombers there briefly sneaking down the right hand side of the map. Basically it looks like they were well, there you go, you see them there. It looks like they're actually coming in at those two cruisers, or possibly at that destroyer in the centre there. Yeah, it actually looks like they attacked that destroyer. So my fighters weren't going to do any use, but I'll just leave them hanging around the area just in case more enemy bombers show up. And here my bombers are coming in attacking that battleship. Unfortunately, a cruiser's come over to join that ship, which means that. Our well, Squadron 4 here gets its torpedoes off in a nice pattern. Squadron 5 blooms out because it was under the cruiser's defensive fire ability. And unfortunately my dive bombers when they come in are also going to be under that fire ability. Still get 3 torpedoes on target. And 7 comes in, you see the dive bombers spread bloom out there but I still get 1 hit. And Squadron 6, my final dive bomber squadron, is coming in from the rear now. And I lost 8 aircraft so far in this attack. And this... Oh no, I've botched that. Waited a bit too long, but it looks like it still might be okay. One more hit. So so far I've lost 9 aircraft in that attack to get 3 bombs and 3 torpedoes on target. Um, Kind of worth it. The Huyu has a lot of aircraft, so I can afford to lose a few... I can take 9 casualties and then 9 again and then 9 a third time and even then I might still be able to put a decent strike force up in the air but it's not something I want to see repeated and it's probably not worth, I mean I probably took away half that battleship's health if that, actually probably not even that, maybe a third 
So it's probably not worth it, but we can take those losses for a while at least. And now, unfortunately, we just have to wait a bit while our bombers get back to the carry and rearm. Just wait. Oh, no, the battleship has lost about half its health, and that's still a fire burning at its rear, so I'm still doing a little bit of damage to it. I've ordered my fighters back to the main fleet, which is kind of well, directly opposite that enemy battleship. Just, um, it's actually because off on the east side of this map, which is where I actually expect the enemy is going to be attacking the enemy bombers, um, they're actually just too closely intermingled with enemy cruisers, and my fighters are just going to get shot down any time they go anywhere near escorting those allied ships there. So I'm just going to leave them hanging around here, just on the odd chance that the enemy bombers do come over this side, because at least here my fighters will stay alive and will be useful. So we kind of spotted well, an enemy battleship in the centre there all by itself, so I'm kind of thinking that's where my next attack's going to come in. Just going to get one last dive from a squadron up in the air. And yeah, there's the enemy bombers heading towards my allied cruiser there. But as I said, I can't really go and help that. Well, I definitely can't now because my fighter's too far away. But if I had had my fighters loitering above it, they would have all been shot down by the enemy cruiser by this point. And this is also the point where I realised the enemy has a bomber heavy loadout because I definitely saw three dive bomber squadrons there. Which means that I've basically got air superiority by default, or at least. They're not going to shoot down any of my bombers, whereas I can still shoot down lots of theirs. But of course they can do a lot more damage to enemy ships than I can. But anyway, while I've been talking, I've sent squadrons 4 and 5, my torpedo bomber squadrons, into the centre of the map where that lone battleship squadron was sighted. Unfortunately, an enemy cruiser squadron again is kind of heading over a squadron. An enemy cruiser ship is heading over in this direction, which is going to spoil this attack a bit. So there's the battleship, and it's actually moving over very close to where that cruiser is. And there's the cruiser. So my plane's probably going to take heavy losses. I want them to pull back. And I decide, you know, just bugger it, let's go and just attack this cruiser here. There's no one else we're really in a position to attack, and if we're going to have to attack a cruiser, it may as well be this one. My dive bombers are still circling the carrier. I didn't really see much point in sending them anywhere. I was thinking maybe that battleship that just got sunk because it was slightly isolated. But I'm going to see how this strike goes before I see where I'm best to send my dive bombers. And it looks pretty good for us here. One hit, two, three, four, and well, we only got three because three was enough to sink it. So we sunk a Cleveland class cruiser, which is a good start to the game. And the torpedo bombers are coming in. Uh, all of my fighters to accept them, but they're not going to arrive before those dive bombers reach the, uh, my allied cruisers. But it does make me realise I can now actually safely send my fighters over the, this part of the map without running the risk of being shot down. Unfortunately, our eastern flanks basically collapsed. So I'm obviously going to have to do a bit of work there, I think. Send my dive bombers after this battleship squadron. Ah, uh, battleship. I don't know why I keep putting squadron after anything. Well, dive bombers are heading down. You see me, I'm setting up for a manual attack by ordering them to come in behind the battleship. Um, they take a while to get there though, and. Well, I basically I have second thoughts. I see this enemy battleship. And so since my eastern flank's collapsing, I really have to focus on here rather than on the centre. But, uh, well, that's not going to take me that long. My fighters are in the region providing air cover for these two cruisers defending our cap circle. And just ordering my dive bombers to, well, one squadron's loitering a long distance in front. But the other squadron I'm going to order in much closer. And here we go. Nice manual attack. Pretty good that one. Got two hits and started a fire. And order my second squadron of dive bombers to come in now. 
First thing I'm always hoping that this battleship's going to put out its fire, and this one here will start a second fire. We'll do a lot of damage. And it actually looks like it might die this time, so I don't see any fire on that ship now. And one bomb hit starts mod fire, so hopefully this will burn for a long time. And I've also ordered my torpedo bomber squadrons in now to do a cross attack on this battleship, which should also do a fair bit of damage if they can get there in time and it hits. But that fire by itself will burn for a long time, I imagine, and do a lot of damage for me. Unfortunately, my allied cruisers defending the cap circle have all died. So we are well and truly losing this match. There's only four ships left on my team against six on the enemy team, and we're well behind on points as well. And then we have two ships now cap circle, so it's not looking good. Um, the Tweer Bombers are coming in. Oh, actually, no, there is still one Allied cruiser fighting up here, and it's small ships torpedoes at the battleship. Its torpedoes are going to arrive slightly before mine. And it gets three, four hits. Well, I only get, well, I get four as well, and start flooding twice over. See enemy dive bombers coming for this cruiser in front of me, and I order my fighters to intercept. And basically the bombers are going right for where I'm heading, but I don't think they've spotted me yet. Just, um, at this point in time I was actually moving at half speed, and I didn't actually realise it for a long time. And basically I'm trying to get in the cover of that island. Oops, sight gate enemy battleship. Kill number two. Good on flooding damage. So saying, I was trying to get in behind the cover of that island to protect myself from enemies coming up through our cap circle, but I was taking a long time to get there, that's because I was going at half speed and didn't realise it. My fighters have arrived just in time to disrupt the final dive bomber attack and get a few kills here. And now my dive bombers are coming in at another battleship who's on the opposite side of the island from us. And my fighters are just going to leave the in there because there's probably going to be another bomber attack on myself, I imagine. Any dive bombers are sighted, but for now I'm just going to focus on getting my dive bomber attacks on target because my last one missed. And here we go, three hits, two fires, and my torpedo bombers are getting up in the air. Ordered my fighters onto the enemy torpedo bombers. And I'll just ignore that battleship and send my fighters straight over it while I order my torpedo bombers to launch an attack on the battleship there. And I just let my fighters chase down this torpedo bombers. They're pretty obviously going for my allied battleship in the south here. Um, at this point I've got fighters to spare back on the ship so I can afford to take losses from that enemy cruiser. And unfortunately it does not look like they're going to arrive in time to disrupt that attack. Managed to get two hits on that enemy battleship. But I'm still not in the cover of the island because I've only just realized I'm going half speed. So you see my speed accelerating in the bottom left corner there. The Huyu's got a really good speed when you actually get it going. Unfortunately, I accelerated the ball into prime and managed to ram my allied cruiser. So I definitely contributed to my, that um, ship on my team getting killed there. My fighters managed to capture up with that torpedo bomber and. Um, inflicting casualties on it, but it flew over the enemy cruiser, which means we're taking losses as well, but I send some of my fighters back to the carrier, but unfortunately squadron 2 gets destroyed here, and my dive bomb is back up in the air, so I send them after the battleship. You can see my secondary guns firing away at this battleship, and because I've got the tier 4 range enhancing skill, my secondary guns actually outrange this battleship's secondaries. But it can hit me with its main battery guns. Uh, it does a bit of damage, starts a fire. But I put the fire out, so my dive bombers are coming in. Two hits and a fire, and that's the high caliber reward. The next squadron's coming in. One more hit and another fire. And now I've gone right down the island. Oh, kill number three, and a liquidator medal. And now this cruiser is firing at me. So I basically turn my bows into it. I see that battleship's not going to be much help because it's running ground on this island. Probably dodge those torpedo bombers I failed to disrupt. And I sent my torpedo bombers off after this enemy cruiser. 
And basically, while this is happening, I'm just going to keep my bail towards that cruiser to minimize my profile. Enemy dive bombers are coming in, so I order my fighters to engage them. I also order my anti aircraft guns to focus fire on them. Now, the anti aircraft guns on the Huyu are the one disappointment I have with this ship. I mean, if this was the Ryujo, say, I would have. You know, these bombers would have been absolutely slaughtered, but instead, half of them get through. And I see my fighters to attack the second squadron, but again, they've basically managed to get through as well. They do a fair bit of damage to me, but I'm not sure which of that was from the bombers and which was from the cruisers shooting at me. And my fighters, I'm just trying to get them to disrupt this attack to try and minimise my damage, but obviously I'm still taking some. My torpedo bombers have reached the enemy cruiser. And it's fighter engaged some of my bombers and ruins one of my attacks, but the second one's going in pretty true. And even my spoiled attack gets one hit, and sunk that cruiser, and there's kill number four. And here's the enemy torpedo bomber squadron coming in. And unfortunately I'm on very low health now, so a single torpedo hit is well, more than enough to kill me. See my anti-aircraft guns go into action, and my fighters are engaging the torpedo bomber here. And I'm also turning my bow into them, but the torpedo um, bombers are taking casualties. And they have to go a long way out to begin their attack. And of course, it's pretty massively disrupted. And then the fighters all get shot down. Uh, the torpedo bombers all get shot down by my fighters as soon as they've launched. And I'm easily able to weave in between the torpedoes. And now the only enemy ship left is the enemy carrier. So we've managed to pull this game back. Um, still not over yet though. In particular, I'm on critically low health. And if I die, the enemy team's going to be ahead on points. And it's actually not very long left in this game. I ordered my fighters forward to scout out the enemy ship, which in retrospect was a mistake. I probably should have left them back to defend my carrier against, you know, a um, enemy bomber attack and sent my dive bombers to scout. But we managed to spot the carrier pretty quickly, and we also spot a dive bomber attack coming in, so we were able to intercept it a long way out from our carrier. I send my dive bombers to just an area where they're going to be able to loiter in preparation for an attack on the dive bomber. But for now, I'm going to have to deal with this aircraft carrier's bomber attack on myself. I've decided to just keep going forward and get into the capsule, just to put a bit more pressure on the enemy. Um, my allied battleship is coming up behind, um, but it's not going to be much support for a little while. Got my fighters intercepting the enemy dive bombers here. And then I switch one squadron to attack the second wave. Just again, I want to disperse these attacks. I've also turned broadside on to try and minimize the risk of getting hit by bombs here, but I managed to get hit there, down to 1400 HP. And again, I'm hit, I'm down to 200 hit points, but luckily managed to put out that fire. The third dive bomber attack manages to miss, and that just leaves enemy torpedo bombers. Unfortunately, some of my fighters have run out of ammunition. And I decide that I can't really maneuver to avoid these torpedoes. I'm just going to get my dive bombers to attack the carrier. And just try and do as much damage as I can. But those torpedo bombers, they don't attack. Got three hits on that carrier and started two fires. And those um, torpedo bombers will be shot down. So I order all my fighters back to rearm and reload because they're obviously not going to have to defend against any more enemy bombers for a little while. Get my second squadron of dive bombers to attack the enemy carrier, which is now run aground. And two more hits and a fire. We get the Confederate award. And now my torpedo bombers are coming in. And basically, I'm still managed to stay in the cap circle after all that. And I'm basically just going to keep capping. And if I don't manage to sink this... Oh, Witherer. Not the medal for me. Well, that's all good. Oops, bit of a lag spike there, sorry about that. Got my torpedo bombers coming in though. And, oh the game's almost over. Um, well, this is really unfortunate. You can all hear that clock ticking, my torpedoes are in the water. And that's game over. And two torpedo hits, and the Kraken unleashed the ward just as the game ends. So, well, I mean, that was a pretty close game, a good comeback by us. 
And I managed to get my first Kraken Unleashed medal, as well as a bunch of other awards. Got a lot of experience, a lot of credits, and it's games like this that make me love the Who Are You. As I said, the only real drawback to it is that its anti-aircraft guns are a bit weaker than I'm used to from the Ryujo and the Zuiho, but it makes up for that with its speed, its excellent aircraft reserves, its... Well, actually, it's mostly those two, really. Its torpedo bombers are powerful, it's got powerful fighters, so you can actually contest air superiority, and you can just do things like this. It's got enough hit points, you can actually stay on the front lines for a fair bit of time and survive, as you saw me doing this game, where I was under fire from an enemy battleship and then an enemy cruiser, and then survived numerous enemy bomber attacks. So it was a pretty good game, and my first ever Kraken Unleashed, and I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.